Hello everybody, this is Tom at Tennessee Attachment again. I'd like to welcome y'all. Today we're going to go ahead and I'm going to discuss binders. Okay, there's three types of binders. Okay, we have a clean finish binder which turns your binding in on both sides. Your raw edge binder is where we take your binding and we just fold it in half. Then we have a semi fold where we only fold one side and your bottom side's raw. Okay? So here's an example. Here's your clean finish. Here's your raw edge. And then here's your semi fold. I'm going to show you examples of these binders on this machine over here. And I'm going to do a little bit of sewing so you can see the finishes and how you load the binder and how it's going to finish off. <clears throat> now, this is a 460-11 swing arm that we set up on this needle feed walking foot machine. Okay, it's basically used for leather, tarp work, uh, any type of work that needs a little bit more pull and a little bit more of an even feed and it has to be adjusted every time you go to a different weight of material. You have to adjust your thread, you'll have to go ahead and adjust your binding and change your binding. Now the first one we showed you earlier was about a clean finish binding. What I'm going to do, and my technicians will go ahead and zoom in on this, and I'll show you what I mean by clean finish. Take, take a piece of binding, you cut your binding to your size. This right here will be approximately inch and a half. So what you do is cut your binding inch and a half wide. Okay, you load your binding up into the binder. Now what we do on these binders, we go ahead and we make a little slot here so it's easier for you to feed. Some people take a pair of scissors, stick it down in the hole, load it up. But this will be done on a machine and you'll see. Now, as I'm pulling that binding through, it's going to take both edges and fold it. Here's your bottom side, and here's your top side. So as I invert it, you'll have your clean finish where it's clean finish at both sides. I'll sew a piece off so you can see what we mean by clean finish. Here's your clean finish. We took both sides, turned it inside each other to give you a clean finish top and to give you a clean finish on the bottom. So both edges are turned in, as our picture showed at the beginning. That's a clean finish binder. The second binder we talked about was a raw, raw edge binder, which takes your binding tape and just folds it in half. Now they use this basically for backpacks finishing off inside of bags. Uh, you, they can go ahead and use it for uh, shoes. Uh, we make the binders for uh, grow grain tape. We make the binders for leather, for your handbag people and your shoe people. Uh, so what I'm going to do right now, we're going to do the same thing. Here's your raw edge binder. Here's your raw edge tape. Okay, this is approximately an inch and a quarter cut. And if you purchase it pre-cut, as you can see right here, this is called a grow grain tape. Now, you load the binder, slip it in, in the back side, just like we did with the clean finish. 
only. Okay, and then it turns back on itself to give you a rage finish. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to sew a little bit so you can see how that finishes off the raw edge again. On this machine. Now what's handy on this is when you have a swing bracket, your binder set up. Okay, because what you do, you can leave your binder there, you pick up the whole swing, swing it back, you get your scissors, and you go ahead and cut. And then finish off your product. And then the next time, your binder's already loaded for the next operation. Okay. Now we're going to go to the raw edge. Same process, your binder sits up on your swing arm. You load your binding in. And turn it to 90 degrees back on itself so it heads towards the pressure foot. Then you put it through these little guys we got in the back here. Just go ahead and keep your binding out of the way. You can use these wires for tension if you need more tension on your binding. Okay, now you can swing your binder in. Then what you do, you adjust your binder where you want your margin at on your binding. You can stitch margin with that. So you go ahead and run it in there and drop it on down and run a little bit. Okay. Now I'm just I'm just going slow right now. Just go ahead and show you. Now binders come different cut sizes and finish sizes and your mouth opening. Your mouth opening is special. What you want to do is go ahead and let us know what you're sewing or send us a sewing sample because we have to make that mouth opening wide enough to handle the thickest seam that you're going to go over. Because if we don't do that, what's going to happen is that your material is going to jam into the binder and stop. So it's critical that we know how much opening you need so we can make the binder for your specs. Now I'm going to show you what the raw edge looks like. We just take the material, we just folded it in half. Alright, now that's a raw edge finish because we didn't do any turning. We just took the grow grain, folded it in half, and your grow grain tape comes in different sizes too. It comes in anywhere from a half inch all the way up to say whatever size you want it to be and we'll make the binder to fit. Now we'll go to the third one. Okay, third one is basically used for I'd say the upholstery people and uh, I'd say some shoe manufacturers which we take the binding and we've got to clean finish it top on the raw edge and bottom and that's going to be a semi-fold binding. So same thing, I can swing this out, cut my tape, binder still loaded, pull back on it, and then you can swing it back into position if you want to for the next operation. And your binder's already going to be loaded. Now I'm going to go to the semi-fold, which is style C in our catalog. And in the semi-fold, like I said, it works with uh, basically automotive, carpeting, uh, canvas work. Alright, here we go. This is a semi-fold binder. What we're going to do, the top side's got a clean fold, the bottom side's going to be left raw edge. And if you, if, if you go ahead and you look at your uh, t-shirt, your t-shirt collar is another, one, uh, another style of a semi-fold, where you clean finish your edge here, and then your bottom edge will be raw edge, and it'll be covered by your cover stitch. I'm going to show you in some sections later on the styles of binders for that. 
Same process. You load up your binder. And then now, I'm just folding the top side. Notice how the bottom side is coming out raw. I'm not turning the bottom side at all. It's staying raw edge. That's called a semi-fold binder. And it's going to be the same process of all your other binders. Go ahead and you put your binder on. Go ahead and you load your binder up. You take a screwdriver and just push it through your pair of scissors. Then turn it towards your press foot. Lift the press foot up. Drop your binder down, bind your binder up, just have these for a guide. Now if your binding gets a little wavy as you're sewing it on, what you'll do is you go ahead and use this as a tension, like weaving it in and out of these little curls here. That's why we put that on, because that gives tension and it keeps your binding taut so you have a flat fit. With this type of material I'm using right now, I really don't need all the tension on it. So basically, I'm just using it for a guide. Now, your binding be off the roll in the back. Same thing, you set it up, get your situation where you want your needle stitch margin to be, drop that in the press foot. slowly start stitching. Now, with this one jamming up, okay, notice, here's what I was talking about on your tension. Now this binder here particularly has a wide open. This here wide opening is for carpet, okay? Once you stick your carpet in there, your pile and your thickness of uh, carpeting, it'll fill that up so your bike will come out nice and flat and even. Now with a little tension on this, I could probably get it a little tauter and probably come out laying a little bit flatter. Up, oh, there we go. It's still not, it's still not enough. When you get this twisting, okay, that means that there's nothing filling up your throat. Okay? You have too much throat opening. So that opening has to be made smaller. But like I said, this binder was made up for carpeting. So if you stick your pile of carpeting and fill that up, that'll make your binding lay flat. So what we've got, we've got a clean finish binder, which is style A, gives you a clean finish. Style B is your raw edge binder, which takes material, folds it in half, and style C, where we go ahead and we clean finish the top and leave the bottom edge raw. So here's your clean finish binder. Folding both edges in. Here's your raw edge binder, where you just take your tape cut it and it just folds it in half and then we'll come up to our semi-fold where we go ahead and just turn one side and leave the other side raw on the bottom side to give you that clean top raw bottom. This here is approximately, I'd say, about a 3 8 opening to a uh, uh, 5 16 From here to here is the opening. This here is a quarter inch opening. From here to here, quarter inch. This here is a 5 16 opening. From here to here is your opening, 5 16 opening. Now we make all different styles and types of attachments. We do a lot of machine work here. We make uh, specialty sewing machines. If you've got any questions, okay, you can go to Facebook, look us up, or you can 
catch anything on YouTube that I've been putting up. Uh, if you have any problems with any machine or binder or such, what, just give us a buzz and we'll be glad to try to help you out with your sewing needs. But this is Tom at Tennessee Attachment saying, see you later guys.